late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 5 p.m. Coverage you can count on. A proposed plan would temporarily stop foreclosures in DeKalb County. How the county would make that happen? A moratorium on foreclosures. One DeKalb County Commissioner has proposed a resolution to make it happen. The county has one of the highest foreclosure rates in the state. Channel 2's Aaron Coleman has more on the proposal and how it would work. On the first Tuesday of every month, there are foreclosure auctions right here on the steps of the DeKalb County Courthouse. Now there's a push to put an end to those auctions at least for the next 90 days. And people we spoke with say it can't come soon enough. Beyond devastated, there's not even a word that I can express of how I truly feel right now. Last Tuesday, Nicole Fox lost her home to foreclosure. I deserve, just as others, to live in my home that I have built. I have worked hard, it very hard. To, to save my home. Just a few miles away, Cynthia Hill is still trying to save hers. It's in the foreclosure process. If you hear a knock at the door, you're worried been in the house since 1994, so it's a scary feeling. I'm just nervous. Both homes are in DeKalb County, and according to the Atlanta Foreclosure Report, DeKalb is number three in the state for pending foreclosures. In the first five months of this year, there were more than 7,000. And we're going to do everything we can to stop these foreclosures. Which is why Commissioner Connie Stokes has proposed a resolution, put a 90-day moratorium on foreclosures in the county. Some people say that's not something that counties can do, but I tell you this, we cannot just sit around and do nothing. So we're working very, very hard with our legal department to see how we go about doing this. The plan now, stop the auctions on the courthouse steps to stall the process. At the same time, push the General Assembly to give counties more control when it comes to foreclosures. Anything will help. Right now, attorneys in the county's law office are reviewing this resolution. It goes up for a vote in about two weeks. Reporting in DeKalb County, Erin Coleman, Channel 2 Action News. Late today, a foreclosure attorney told us she's not sure how the county would enforce the moratorium since a mortgage is essentially a contract between the bank and the homeowner.